Christy. Wow, it has been a long time since my last video and uh, this will actually be my last video in this house. We, um, our house is finished and we had the closing last Wednesday and we are moving this Saturday on Halloween. So um, I am taking apart my craft room and um, taking things over to the new house. I got a um, went on a trip to Ikea and got all my furniture and um, so I have all that to get set up and everything so a lot going on this week but I thought I'd film a really quick video and uh, just show you the things that I've purchased um, I wouldn't say necessarily just October I think some of these were September as well because that was my birthday month um, but anyway, I didn't pick up a whole lot because I've been, uh, you know, saving up for that IKEA trip, which uh, was a great success. So, but I did get a few things, so I wanted to show you. So I'll just go ahead and jump right in. Um, the first thing I got was this Molotol pen. Um, this is a masking ink pen that a bunch of people have been doing videos on. Um, Jennifer McGuire and some other people have showed these in videos. Um, it worked very well for her. I've since heard from Sandy Alnock that it doesn't work well at all for her. It ripped her paper and ruined her project. So um, it's something I'm going to have to test out. It was $16.99 at Hobby Lobby, but of course I used a 40% off coupon, so I didn't pay that. Um, it's still a lot of money, though, if it doesn't work, so I'm hoping it does. So I'm going to give that a try. I thought that would be good for Christmas projects and projects in general. Um, the rest of the stuff is from my friend Vanessa Middleton's shop, Butterfly Reflections Inc. And then there's a little bit of Mama Elephant at the end. Um, so first I'll go through the stamps, I guess. I got um, the Holiday Hug Set from W Plus 9. I love polar bears. They are my favorite. And um, when I saw this little stamp, I thought it was so adorable because I've always joked with my family that um, if I ever came across a polar bear, um, I would give it a hug and it would hug me back because it would know how much I love it, <laughs> which is totally ridiculous. <laughs> of course, you know, that would not be a good situation. But anyway, I would just thought they would feel how much I love them, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But anyway, um, if I can't be real in real life, let it at least be real in stamp form, right? So I thought this was super adorable and I love the sentiment sending warm holiday hugs. So I got the matching dies as well for that. Then I got the super popular Little Drummer Boy set, which I think is really adorable. And I have seen some gorgeous, gorgeous cards made with this set. Um, watercolor, you, as you guys know, is one of my favorite mediums, and this will be great, like on a watercolored night sky background. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, you've got Merry Christmas, Peace on Earth, May the True Meaning of Christmas Fill You with Joy, Pum 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 Pum, and then you've got the donkey, the little sheep, a couple of palm trees, baby Jesus, and the little drummer boy. So really, really, really cute set. Um, if you've been watching um, Periscope, there was a video a while back of, um, who was it who was on there? It was at like a Simon Says Stamp event and Kathy Rakusin was moderating. Um, but anyway, it was like just a gorgeous background and people were playing with it and it was lots of fun. So really excited to get that set out and start stamping and creating with lots of watercolor. Um, I also picked up the Avery L. Polar Pals set, again, polar bears, and I really love the narwhal, and I think these little um, girls are so adorable here, and then this is a really cute image with the seal or the walrus, whatever it wants to be, um, in the iceberg, and then you've got a penguin and another seal, and uh, you are so cool, you warm my heart, and warm wishes, great sentiments. I already took this one out of the packaging. Because um, I really wasn't planning on doing a haul video, but then I ended up getting enough stuff that I decided to go ahead and um, do it. And there's the matching dies already on my magnetic sheet there, like I like to store them. Um, we'll do the papers next to just go ahead and finish that order from Butterfly Reflections, Inc. 
So um, the first one I got was this basic gray juniper berry uh, pad. I love basic gray Christmas pads. Like seriously, the most hoarded paper in my entire collection is the basic gray Christmas pads. I think I have all of the last four years and they're barely used because they're so pretty that I can't stand to cut them up, which is crazy because these papers are made to be used. But anyway, um, this one is just another great addition to their line. I absolutely love this paper with a little woodland scene and you've got deer and squirrels here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, really, really cute. I love the little pops of pink and coral and um, hot pink in there. And then, oops, skipped one. There is a really cool graphic wood grain print. And these berries are really delicious looking. And then you've got plaids and bows and flowers and trees and snowflakes. Polar bears on pink. Um, just a really, really pretty pad there that repeats itself. I really love this pattern as well. So that's the basic grade Juniper Berry. I also got the Simple Stories Claws and Company, um, which is just more of a traditional color scheme, but I like that they've got the black and gray in there. It's just something different. Really nice collection in there of more traditional style papers. And then I also got the My Mind's Eye Cozy Christmas, um, which I did not even realize until I just opened this a second ago that it has glitter on some of the pages in the red parts. So that's really neat. There's a glitter polka dot, glitter poinsettia, glitter in the plaid there. And it seems to have been like coated with something like glossy accents because it the glitter does not rub off on your fingers. The presents have glitter. That's really pretty there. So as you guys know, I always make a lot of holiday cards for um, the cards from the Heart Card Drive um, that my friend Vera Yates does every year. So I need lots of Christmas papers. So the last little bit that I got was from Mama Elephant, and um, I wasn't able to get everything that I really wanted. They had a lot of cute stuff this release, but, um, you know, <clears throat> I was being careful with my money because I had spent the majority of it at Ikea on my furniture. <laughs> so um, I got what I was able to get for now. I got my most favorites, but if I could have, I would have gotten a couple more things because they were really cute, but... Um, the first thing I got was this Reindeer Games. This is so adorable. And I didn't even know when I ordered it that these images are mirror images, which makes them great for like spinner cards. You can, they'll spin around because they will line up perfectly, which is awesome. I had no idea. Um, but since um, I purchased the night of the release, there's been a, a number of videos of people using them that way. So that's a, an extra bonus. Um, really, really cute, and I can't wait to use those, and I've got the matching dies. Um, this die set was the whole reason that I ordered. I am in love with this die set. I, um, I forget what it's called, and Mama Elephant, they don't, um, they don't put the names of their dies on the packaging. But anyway, Avery L. had come out with a mountain, a snow-capped mountain die set a little bit ago, and I was so excited about it, and I really, really wanted it, but the reason I didn't get it is because they paired it with a bunch of other dies that were like a ski theme, and I'm just not a skier. I'm not into it at all. Um, kudos to those who are. That's great, but I just knew that I personally would never use the rest of the dies, and I can't see paying good money for dies when I know that I'm only going to use like a small portion of what's included in the package. Um, if they would have put it separately, I would have purchased it hands down in a heartbeat, you know? So a few weeks later when Mama Elephant sneaked this one, I knew that I just had to have it because, you know, it's all by itself and it was a decent value for the money and... Um, it'll be great for creating those arctic scenes that I love to do so much. So, um, you know, putting my polar bears in front or even the little reindeer or, you know, 
and the Arctic Penguins for Mama Elephant, um, or there's so many sets, all the new Lawn Fawn release, um, that'll be great for creating scenes, so. I also was really excited about this die, um, again, I apologize, I don't have the name on hand, but it creates a, um, a window that's like from the outside of the house. Well, I suppose if you wanted to use just the window frame, you could do it from the inside looking out. But if you add like the top of the roof and the, uh, I believe this part is the top, and these are the shutters, one on each side. And then I think this is a window box, if you flip it this way, that goes b uh, below the window. Um, and then you can be like from the outside looking in, which I thought was a really good idea. Um, something different that I hadn't seen before. And um, you guys know my rule of thumb is always when I see something I need to have like at least three ideas right away or I won't purchase it right now. I'll just put it on the back burner and then see if I come up with ideas um, and then possibly purchase it later if I do. And the reason for that is there's just so many project products out on the market and you can't possibly buy them all and you want to make sure that the products that you do spend your money on you're going to really use. So when I have um, at least three ideas that I'm excited about that I know it's going to be something that I'm going to use. I'm going to probably come up with more ideas and continue to use it. So um, I have some ideas coming up for this. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to do a Christmas card series um, this year once I'm settled in the new house. I know I'm a little bit even late. I know some people have already started theirs. Um, so I don't know if it'll be as big of a one as I had planned for this year, but I'm hoping to at least, you know, do a series of some sort. So um, I'll have plans for that for that one as well. And then lastly, I picked up this Christmas scene. This is Luli Bunny for Mama Elephant. And I have to be honest, um, the other stamp sets that they've come out for Mama Elephant are just not my style at all. Um, they're... There's a lot of people who love them, and uh, that's great because it takes all kinds, but um, it's not my personal style at all. Um, but this one, I just really loved, and especially since I'm moving into a new house, um, I thought this would be great to create little um, Christmas cards like we've moved. They also would work great for um, non-Christmas cards because they can certainly be colored um, for any occasion. And then you've got these great little trees and a little tall Christmas tree to set the scene and the flower, um, not flowers, <laughs> the clouds up there. There's lots of little ornaments you can use to decorate the tree. And then you've got Jingle All the Way and Season's Greetings. Um, I did not p pick up the dies this time, which I know is shocking um, because I always get the dies because I hate fussy cutting. The reason I did not get the dies this time was again, um, just budget and then also uh, the more I looked at it the more I thought you know what these really are fairly simple designs to cut out it's pretty much mostly straight cuts so there's a couple little round cuts here the ornaments are so teeny tiny that I always find it hard to cut them out with dies anyway um, I find it hard to cut out at, at all whether it's with scissors or dies um, so that's something that I would probably just stamp directly on and not have to worry about cutting at all. But anyway, um, so for now, um, I decided to hold off on the dies. And if I can get them later, I will because they would be very handy for the clouds. Um, but I think I can do a fair job trimming these out by hand. So, you know. It's not the end of the world if I don't get the dies. But anyway, so that is my haul, you guys. Um, the next time you see a video from me, it'll be in my new house. And uh, I am definitely planning to do a craft room share once I have it set up. Um, there's still a lot, a lot to move over. So... Um, I'm not going to say that it'll be within a week or two, but um, hopefully 
within sometime during the month of November. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching and always being so supportive and uh, bearing with me during this long, long transition period where I was not able to film or even create as much as I would really love to. So hopefully once I'm all set up in the new space and I've got a great um, layout of, you know, keeping my products near at hand like I like to work and uh, all that, hopefully it'll be much more efficient and easy for crafting. So um, you should see more from me in the future. So have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.